Welcome to our tutorial on managing your vendors in ESC. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to track the contact information and purchase history of the companies that supply your inventory items. First, head to your Vendors menu and select Enter Vendor Information. Clicking the Add New button on the toolbar will place your cursor in the Company Last Name field where you can begin entering the vendor's name. It will also assign a vendor ID number to this record. You'll want to enter as much contact information as you can so that your purchase orders can be printed and mailed, or even emailed, to your vendor. You also have fields to record the vendor's terms, the account number they have assigned to you, and a discount percent field if they are providing you supplies at a discounted rate. Below that are fields for their email and web addresses, which will make it easy for you to place orders via email or on their website. Much like the Customers module, the Vendors module also enables you to set up multiple locations. This vendor may have multiple distribution warehouses or retail locations, such as Home Depot, Ace Hardware, or Lowe's. Rather than setting up multiple vendors for these separate stores, you can keep all of their locations stored under a single vendor record. If you need to track multiple contact names or numbers for this vendor, you'll do this at the bottom of the Location tab. As with all of our modules in ESC, you'll have a place where you can record notes and other important information for your vendors. When you have completed all of the necessary information for this vendor, click the Save button on the toolbar. Once you have your vendors entered into ESC, you can select which vendors will be your preferred vendor for particular items. To do this, let's head over to the Inventory Entry screen. Select an inventory item that you want to set your vendor for by either typing in the part number or by clicking the drop-down arrow in the Part Number field to access the Inventory Search screen. Once you have selected your part, click on the Vendor tab. Here you can select the vendor that you prefer to order this part from. This vendor will be automatically selected when you use the Reorder Parts screen or use the Order Parts screen from the Dispatching or Sales modules. Once the vendor is selected, a check mark will appear in the preferred column indicating that this will be the primary vendor for restocking this item. If this vendor references this item using a different part number, you'll want to enter that part identifier in the Vendor Part Number column. The vendor's part number will appear on printed or emailed purchase orders, and the item itself can be located in ESC with that alternate number. Next to the Vendor Part Number column are the Last Price and Last Purchase columns. You have the ability to fill in these fields if you know the information, but it won't be necessary. When this item is received through the Receive Items screen, these fields will automatically be populated with the date of the purchase and the cost of the item. If you receive the item from a vendor other than the preferred vendor, that information will also be recorded in this screen, providing you with an at-a-glance order history for this item. This screen also allows you to perform a vendor comparison. When using the Reorder Parts screen or the Order Parts screen from other modules, you'll be presented with a Browse button next to each individual item. This displays the Vendor tab for that item, making it fast and simple to choose which vendor you will be using to restock your inventory. Now you know how to track your vendors and record their prices. This concludes our tutorial on managing vendors.